Hey, what's up my fellow prodigies? Prodigy here and today I'm going to show you guys how to edit your gaming videos for YouTube. If you're thinking about starting a gaming channel of your own, but you don't know how to edit. Now for a quick note, in this tutorial I will be using Sony Vegas Pro 13 for my editing software. Now when I edit my YouTube videos, I make sure I edit my mic audio and audacity. Then I edit in Sony Vegas Pro 13. And then when my video is almost done rendering for YouTube, I make my thumbnail on Photoshop CS6. Now the first thing that you want to do is when editing a video is to click on file, then click on new project. Now when you go on here, you're basically going to see the settings of how your video is going to look all together. Now first thing that you want to do is click on templates, and you're going to see a whole list of all these templates that you can use. Depending on what quality content you want, like for example, you might want to upload in 720p 60 frames per second, or you might want to upload a normal 1080p 30 frames per second video, you're going to choose a template that matches your video quality. Now for your template, click on HD 720p or HD 1080p, depending on what quality content that you want. By the way, I should mention that if you have a template that has better quality than your video, like if you chose a 1080p 60 frames per second, but you record it in 720p 30 frames per second, it's not going to be turning out great. Like it's going to be very jumpy, which is not what you want. For my videos, I upload in 720p 60 frames per second, so I chose HD 720p, but I already have a preset made, which is my 720p 60 frames per second template. Now for your frame rate, if you want a 30 frames per second video, you want to have the 29.97 picked out. But if you have a 60 frames per second video, you're going to want to choose a 59.97 option. Now for these settings, you just want to copy me by having your full resolution quality on best and having your deinterlace method on blend fields. Also, click adjust source and better match project settings. And then when you're done copying my video and audio settings, you can easily save my template as a preset so you can easily go into Sony Vegas without copying my settings all over again. And you can choose to start all your projects with these settings too. Now the first thing that I do when making my videos is I import my intro. Now when I play my intro, you can see that it's ghosting, making it look low quality. Now what you want to do is right click on your video and disable resample and uncheck maintain aspect ratio. And you want to disable resample on all your video clips that you put into Sony Vegas. Now once I put in my intro, I import some gameplay that I want to talk over for my commentary. Then I make sure that the volume is low enough that it can slightly be heard, but it won't overpower my mic audio or my background music. And then I trim it up a bit. Now when you're editing, you don't want to have two random clips like your intro and your gameplay right next to each other. What you want to do is have your gameplay fade in so it looks more smoother when it comes in. Now once I finish editing my gameplay, I add in my music that would be playing in the background and make it fade in by hovering over the music corner when I see the transition sign and then pull it over for how long I want the fade in to be. Also for a quick note, if your video looks like it's jumping, just change the quality of the preview near the top and it will look more smoother. Then when I think it's the right time, I added my lower thirds, which are the things that slide off in the bottom left corner of my vids that tell you to like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. So basically, I just import it like it's a normal video clip, and if you want to make your lower third slide into your video instead of a fade, you just want to head into your transitions, and either you can choose push or slide for your lower third, but in the recording, I chose slide, and I drag it onto the fade that I made for my lower third. Now, same goes out for the slide out. You can drag on a slide out or a push out when it goes away, but for my lower third, I like to use a gradient wipe for when it goes away. And for the people who want to put overlays on their videos, like how I put 20 likes on this little sample clip right here, you just got to put over your video clip how I did with the lower third, just simply and easy. Next, I import the mic audio I've recorded for my video. Now, the way I like to handle my mic audio in music is I like to play the music for a bit in the beginning, then I drop it low when my mic audio comes in by splitting the music clip with S on the keyboard or right clicking on it to split it. Soon making volume lower. And if the volume of any of your sounds, like your music sounds too low or too loud, you can increase the amount of gain or lower the decibels to adjust the sound the way you want it. Now here's one thing I think people should do. So do you guys see how the video looks kind of washed out like it doesn't have much color? Well if you follow this tip, your videos will look 10 times better. So basically what you want to do is right click on your gameplay, then click video event FX. Now right here is very important. What you want to do is click on Sony Color Corrector Secondary, Color Curves, saturation adjust and sharpen then click add now right here you have to make sure that you switch sony color curves and sony saturation adjust because the video event effects occur in layers so you want to have the best layer setup unchecking these you want to take a minute and copy these settings that i have for color corrector
And if you check the box, you can see that the color corrector has made the video so it doesn't have that washed out look to it. Now copy these settings here for a saturation adjust. Now by the way, if I were you, I would save a preset of each of the settings just so it won't be a hassle later on in the long run. Now when you check the box, you can see that the video quality has improved greatly, showing off the reds and the greens better, making the video more lively. Now moving on to color curves, I can't really tell you how to set it up because depending on the game, you might not want as much brightness and contrast. But I would try for an S shape to get the effect that you want. Now for sharpen, it's your choice to have it on, but to me, I think that the video looks kind of weird when you put on sharpen, but it's your choice. But just copy the setting that I have on it and you can choose to keep it on your video. If not, that's fine. Now looking at a side by side comparison of the gameplay with and without the video effects, you can see that the newly edited video looks more appealing. Now once my video is done, I import my outro and I sync up the outro music I have for it. And I first like to get the music to slowly build up, then suddenly get loud and get a little cool sound effect from the build up. Now because I have a transparent outro, I like to split my gameplay and have a transition to a blur by adding Gaussian blur to the gameplay, then having my video fade out. When the video is fully done, you're going to click three times so the video is wrapped with yellow triangles on each side, making it a loop region. Now you're going to click on file, then click render as. Now right here a lot of people say to choose main concept AVC for a render template, but for the fastest render speed, you want to choose Sony AVC template. Again, depending if you have 1080p or 720p video, click on the one that matches your video quality of internet 1920x1080 or 1280x720 template. Now once you've chosen the template that's for you, you just want to copy all of the settings that I have except for the frame rate, which will depend if your video is a 30 frames per second video or a 60 frames per second. Now for bitrate, you don't have to have over 25 million like how I do. I would use this for short videos, but if you want the fastest time rendering while keeping good quality, just set your bitrate to 16 million and to render your videos faster in, in code mode, you can render using your GPU if it is available which you can check in system. Then for audio, I set it as 320,000, but for a smaller file size, set it as 192,000 because there's not much of a difference. Then be sure that your video quality is set to best in project. Once you save this as a preset and click on render, you will soon have your very own gaming video rendering at a nice speed depending on your PC specs. Now I hope you guys enjoyed the video, if so drop a like because we're so close to reaching our milestone of 1,000 subscribers, and also be sure to go follow me on Twitter for more updates about my channel. And before the video ends, I'd like to thank everyone who has supported me and the channel like my friends at school, on PlayStation, and to all my subscribers who gave me some form of support because I wouldn't be here at this point if it wasn't for all you guys. Subscribe for more content in the future and I'll see you guys in the next one.